so here we are going to create a pattern so first of all we need to go for extrusion of it so extrude within a simple rectangle so we can give the dimensions for this rectangle as in 250 here 500 by 500 rectangle we are going to create once we create this rectangle next task is that we need to create the thing which uh, you want to pattern it so for that purpose again i will go for an extrusion so i can create in a section i can cut it on the plate so i will select on a rectangle here then i can give the dimensions for this rectangle this So here I am going to give a 10 mm as in a from side, here another 10 and here the dimension I need to just zoom it so that we can view it in detail. Yeah. Here I will give a 25 as in a dimension. then go back and fit it so we'll now create this uh, one row here and uh, this single row will be repeated in vertical direction so complete this cage cut it through all so once you got this cutting then go to the pattern okay so in this pattern we want to provide in a direction for this i can select this edge as in a direction the direction it is shown to be in a left side but actually we want in a right side so shift it to the right side so our di bracket dimension was a 25 so we can now uh, 30 as in a distance between these two blocks and keep it and i may go for Ten such things so 10 is not sufficient we will go for 20 20 will be no more I think uh, 15 will be okay maybe 16 is sufficient okay then now I will say extrude it is created one direction one this uh, mesh for it so similarly I can now create for an mesh in other direction so let's select the direction click onto this so here I will keep the same dimension as 30 here I put it 16 I think 16 then extrude it will create those many rectangles this is the way you can create a mesh of any size or any shape in this fashion so thank you thank you very much